Nine minutes in or something like that. Anywho. Yay. Okay, so we're back. So as you can see, I have my reference photo over here, but I also popped the reference photo up for you guys up at the top somewhere. And thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. And I have my Arteza sketchbook. It's my one of my favorite kind of sketchbooks that I use on a regular basis. But you can use anything you have in hand. Don't worry about it, right? Use anything you feel like you need you need to use, right? That's what I say about it. Use whatever you feel like you need to use. Um, and you can even use like acrylic paint because this it's all interchangeable. I have my water over here. You can't see the water. Got my water over there. I got a little porcelain dish to put like my paints in and stuff like that. And then I have my acrylic gouache. <laughs> Thank you so much, 755 Media. Make sure y'all go check out 755 Media. She is really wonderful, and she's always a big supporter of the channel. I was actually looking back, and I seen that you was, like, a big-time supporter of the channel from way, way back, from, like, two years ago. So, shout-out to you. I love you so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, So, here's some of the acrylic gouaches I'll be using, as you can see. And I'm just using, this is basically like the primary colors, except I substituted the red for um, acrylic um, magenta, for quinacridone magenta, because that's my favorite color. You guys know that's my favorite color, because it's all over my branding, it's all over my hair. It has to have some sort of pink, red, whatever, accent, da-da, da-da-da, right? I gotta have something like that going on at all times, Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of that out. Yes. Yes, I know you rocks with me. I rocks with you too. Thank you so much for always being a big supporter. I love you so... I love you long time. <laughs> I love you long time. All right, let's put on... Let's put on the beat. So this, we're going to be here jamming, chatting, and all the things. Get out your art supplies. Let's do it. I got my off here to the side. I got my some of my favorite brushes that I use. You guys know these are my go-to brushes, but these are more of like um these are like what's it called? These are not synthetic brushes. Unfortunately, these these are um I don't know, maybe like they they're, they're more natural brushes, okay? Um, but they're really beautiful brushes. I love them a lot. And they're really expensive. But they do good work. Especially when you're doing gouache and water, watercolor. You want to use the brush that kind of goes with whatever you're trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? You definitely want to do that. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, yeah, you definitely want to use the brush that goes along with whatever you're trying to do. Okay. Let's get a little of these beats going on. Hard working every day. I'm still Don't stress out. Okay, cool. So I'm going to put these in my water. Get them prepared and prepped. And I'm gonna use these two little like detail brushes to kind of use for like the eyes or whatever. Again, use the size brush that, that kind of goes with whatever you're trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? I always have a reference photo off to the side right here to kind of help me do whatever I need to do. So I'm gonna put out some of my paint. And this is acrylic gouache, meaning that even though Gouache is very similar to watercolor. It's going to dry opaque and it's going to dry permanently. That's the difference between acrylic gouache and regular kind of regular regular gouache or whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna put out all my colors that I usually use. Mm. Ah.
So what are you guys doing here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon? What do you guys have planned? So I just put out all the different colors, two different yellows. I have my magenta, I have my um, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna. Oh damn. I did all that in. What did I do with my white? I could have swore. Did I buy a white? I don't know. It's good to buy a big white, no matter what type of paint you're using. Oh yeah, you're painting. What are you painting? That's what I like to hear. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down below. Or if you happen to be in our group on Facebook, which you should be. Um, you can always post your questions, your questions in there too. All right. And then I'm going to spray my palette. I have this, um, this reference photo also should be available in the in the what's the name okay it should be available in the group on facebook hopefully it should be available thanks to um vanessa the mod squad it should be available darling oh you paint a portrait who is it of though that's the point all right, so this is pretty good paper. However, this is not my favorite paper, but it's you. what you want in a paper. No, most, the most important thing that you really want in a paper, that you really want in um, any sort of like sketchbook that you're using, you want that to be really thick enough to absorb your paint and, and take a beating. And basically to be able to absorb wet medium, right? And we're gonna be using gouache, so you want it to be able to absorb that. Is there another Discord link? Oh, I'm so so sorry. Um V, can you go into our Discord and post the Discord link? I think it's like the welcome one. Either one will work. Somebody's gonna post it for you guys. I'm sorry, I don't know why that thing keeps timing out on me. I don't know what's going on with it, but it keeps timing out on me. So yeah, if you guys want to join the Discord, get on over to the Discord. I combine the two with art and my sim, my gaming life. All sorts of activity goes on down in the Discord. You'll see a lot of stuff on there that I don't necessarily post on Facebook. So that's the place to be, you guys. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Definitely in the Facebook group. Yeah, V, can you just post the Discord link for God, for everybody? So they can see what's going on. Um, and the Facebook group too, so they can join that. But yeah, um, you definitely want a heavy duty paper. This is probably 140 pounds, this paper. Let me know if the music is too loud. I need to know y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me know if it's too loud. Because we're going to be jamming and chatting and, and politicking and bullshitting. Okay? That's what's going to be happening today. All right, cool. Here we go. And here we go. This is what I do when I regularly paint and you guys are not here with me. I be like sitting here talking to myself, listening to music, politics and bullshit. <laughs> Thanks for you. I appreciate you. All right. So I'm going to wet my brush. I missed you guys so much. It's been a long time since I've streamed. Probably three months. Well, at least on my main channel. It's been a long time. Usually I, I'm streaming. Okay, so that's the link to the group, you guys, if you want to join. And you can also catch that on the replay, too. All right, so I'm going to wet my brush. I've basically doused off the excess. You don't want it to be, like, super dripping, but you want it enough where it's, like, going to give you some sort of coverage. And I'm going to go in 
and I'm gonna wet her face. I like to pre-wet the area. This is especially important when you're dealing with um, gouache and stuff like that. If you guys have any questions, just post them down below. And when we get a little break in the painting process, I will definitely answer. All right, so um, as I'm like chatting and talking about <laughs> uh, this activity, let me put this over here. I want to talk about let's wet the neck. So you want to just like pre wet it, get it moist, okay? <laughs> okay, get it moist. Uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. B is always on it, y'all. So I post a lot of stuff in Discord. Basically, Discord, I, I talk a lot of shit in Discord. <laughs> and I post a lot of stuff. So you'll get to really know me, know me. Um, if you join the Discord. Because I don't always be on Facebook sometimes. Thanks, I'll link, I'll link up to the Discord. Yes, link up to the Discord. Because we're trying to grow that out. Oh, see, this is why I have my... Mm, ow. See, this is why I have my... Uh, my little... What's the name? Alright, so I wet her face. Kind of got that together. I'm going to go over it slightly and lightly and wet her hair. B, do me a favor and note what time it is in the video that I started the portrait so that I can put it down in the timestamps. Please and thank you so much. Please ignore Nightbot because it's going to be like posting a lot of crap back to back. All right, cool. So we wet her hair, right? We got that together. So I'm going to add... You know, my favorite thing is I'm going to add a little bit of burnt sienna and a little bit of the blue. We don't need a lot of blue, right? And you see what that did? That instantly turned it into like a brown. This is my favorite kind of color combination, how I like to do things. And this is what kind of what I use on a regular basis. I, I rarely use black, right? And that'll even give you like a darker brown. So the more, the more, and you just can play with these combinations. The more burnt sienna you add, the browner it will be. The more ultramarine you add, the darker it will be. You can even make it super black. If you just add like a very little bit of like a burnt sienna. And I'm just explaining that for the newbies out there. I know some of y'all don't need that, but I get a lot of questions about that. Like, how do I, how do I do it? How, how did you do it? It's magic, honey. It's magic. Okay. All right. And I'm going to continue to add my thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. And you see how that turns kind of black? But I have my apron and I'm gonna wipe off the excess. But you see how I, I kind of like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I kind of, again, this is acrylic. Since this is acrylic, Try not to go over these little barrettes she has in her hair. The acrylic is going to dry dark. I mean, it's going to dry lighter, but it's going to dry permanently. Alright. I will even add more water. Uh, 
I don't know. But you want to work quickly since it is like acrylic wash. And for the purposes of being accurate, that's the only reason I'm putting this color. But you can make her wig any color you want to make it. You can make it any color you want to make it, honey. So you see, I work pretty much. Thank you for the timestamp. I appreciate it. So you see, I like to water things down. And um, I work basically from light to from dark to light or light to dark. I don't even know how to explain it properly. And see, you can even lift it while it's wet, right? And you can make it really light. And as the water kind of evaporates, Sorry, I turned my mic down, so I hope it's not too low, you guys. The crazy thing is that she be having some fear. If you ever watch the show, she be having some fierce-ass wigs up in here, y'all. I mean... They be making them dreads. They, they incorporate so much culture into this historical period movie. It's, it's absolute insanity. Um, because they, they actually incorporated dreads into this freaking powdered wig. Which is hilarious. And the hair kind of like trickles all the way down the hair. So I love these sort of shows, you guys. Absolutely love them. They're like the best thing since sliced bread. I've been watching period movies. That's what they're called. I've been watching period movies, romance movies, whatever you want to call them. Since the beginning of time for like the last 20 years. And I swear to God. It's only now that it's so famous and people are like, oh my God, Bridgerton is so wonderful. Now it's popular. So I'm like, holy shit. Now I can be popular. 20 years ago, if I would have told somebody, oh, I like period movies. They like, why? You black girl. Why you like period movies? Because I fucking do. Because <laughs> I do. And I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me live my best life. People need to stop shaming people. Like, I can have, I can like period movies. What's good? I'm gonna color these. Again, I'm still going light. This is just the first kind of whatever. I'm using some yellow ochre, but you can use any color you want to use. Or paint anything you want to paint, right? This is just the first kind of like stage or whatever. These are the little barrettes that go in her hair. Especially depending on the type of like... I don't know how to explain, but depending on the type of gouache you use, if you use a gouache, like the one I'm using, like, um, what the hell is this one called? This is called Holbein, I think. This is Holbein. If you like use, like, a Holbein gouache, it's super duper. Um, hello, honey. Hello, honey. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, so if you use, like, a Holbein gouache... That whole bind gouache is super opaque, you guys. So you definitely want to take the time, be easy with the with the pigment and build it up, right? 
Kind of build it up, sis. Build it up. And the funny thing is you have to wash out your brush in between colors. You definitely want to do that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm washing my brush out in between each color. It's not like a, it's not like regular acrylic where you can go in and kind of just it, you know, you can kind of mix the colors like they can kind of pollute each other a little bit, cross contaminate each other a little bit and it doesn't really matter. Watercolors and gouache are kind of similar where they can't really pollute each other. You have to be careful kind of what you're doing. Yes, thank you so much. House of Scrapper, what's popping? <laughs> thank you. All right, so I'm gonna mix a little something, something for her face. The hair is kind of where it is. We have to, and then you have to dry in between layers. So I'm gonna leave that hair to kind of do whatever it does. And voila, right? So yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen season two of Bridgerton or not, but I just finished binge watching it. <laughs> I just finished binge watching it and it was absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It was super dope. Um, I enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, the scenes, honey. Have you seen the scenes? It is so freaking spicy. That shit will have you on fire. Okay. Yes, you got my name right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I got it right. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Yes, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I got it right. <laughs> Welcome. So tell me, are you an artist? Are you guys an artist in the chat? Type in one. Let me get a one. If you are a simmer, like I know most of y'all are gonna be artists anyway, because I'm on my main channel too. Um, but I really like playing the Sims too. I actually create like a lot of royal characters in my Sims games. I'm just kind of re re-wetting her face and doing all that. But yeah, um, like I was saying, like the second season or whatever, it was it was like so spicy, so much going on. I couldn't, you know what I mean? It was so much freaking going on uh, in that second season. Bitch, let me tell you. The spice, okay? Okay, okay, okay. The spice was insane. I mean, he was in there. He was in there doing craziness, okay? I was kind of upset though. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm still spraying my palette. I was kind of upset at the fact that they had that the main character, which was like groundbreaking, the main character, Reja Jean, or whatever the hell his name is, the fine black guy. I was very upset that they had taken him out. I paint a little, but watch 755, and I know that will change. Oh, yay! Hey, congratulations and welcome. Thank you for coming over. Yeah, 755 Media, that's my girl, y'all. It's my gal. That's my gal. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of like burnt sienna on her face. It's gonna be very, very light, you guys. You see how that's like really watered down? Super duper watered down, right? Right? And that's what we're going to pretty much use is like super duper water down. I'm at a little smidge of kind of like burnt sienna. I mean, not burnt sienna, yellow ochre. And a little bit of that. Oh, if you join the Discord, you guys, don't forget to pick your roles. I'm going to actually add pronouns soon i'm gonna add pronouns and a lot of other roles so you gotta choose your roles when you get into discord so that i know kind of how like how to like run things how i 
you know, whether I should tag you in certain things, whether you want to get all the notifications or no notifications at all. Yeah, you can really kind of like customize it to whatever your needs are. I'm not tagging you in like unnecessary nonsense, right? So you can see how light this is. It's really, really light. And I'm even going to drag some of this off in my apron. Because I really just do not want it to be super dark. And she's not a dark woman anyway. You know what I mean? Not a dark woman, so. I don't want to make it too dark. But I want to get some sort of covering on her face. That's why we're doing it that way. And again, you got to work quickly because this is... Um, I'm going to add a little bit of red to it because I want to kind of like pink up her face. And we're going to pink up her face. You can add any colors you want to use to, um, for real. Doesn't need to be that serious. We just getting a, a proper base down at this point. Just to see where we are. Yeah. That's pretty much which, what we're doing. Ooh, this is a little, wait, hold on. Let me make this a little darker. I feel like this is a little bit too light. Not representing what, what to hear. Okay. There we go. Not representing. It's not giving what it needs to give. So remember, keep dragging off the excess. You see how light that is on her face? Very, very light. Very, very light. It's barely there. Um, but that's okay. We're going to build up in layers. And she's going to be lovely. Okay. You put a little bit of this like reddish mixture into her eyes. I think I need to zoom in. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all so we can see what's going on. Uh, here we go. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put a little bit of that red inside of her eyes right here. But we just painting and vibing. If you happen to be playing the replay, you can play us in the background and kind of just like vibe out while you do your work. Because I know I do that a lot. I listen to people's blogs. Hello. I'm happy to be here. Yes, indeed. Um... So I, um, I listen to a lot of like people's blogs and all that stuff as they kind of like paint and then I like sit in my studio and I paint. I like to listen to podcasts and stuff like that too while I paint. Okay. So you can see, I kind of darkened her eyes up a little bit. Add a little bit of something, something, but it's very light. And as it dries, you're going to see that it's like super duper light. Yeah. And I'm going to add a little bit of that to her lips. The lips are going to be a little bit. See how strong that is? I barely have any pigment on my brush and it's like overpowering, baby.
don't so much worry about the color in the beginning because you're going to do a lot to kind of add to it later. I'm very new to Discord. I don't know how to use it yet. Well, take your time, honey. Um, maybe I'll do like a little video where I show people how to like kind of scroll around and do all the things. Basically, think of I don't know if you ever got if you guys ever been on like a 1990s chat room. It's basically a chat room from like the 90s, and they have like all these different rooms you can go into. So once you join somebody's Discord, they just have different rooms you can kind of go into and do whatever. Dude, now she look like she got herpes. <laughs> Somebody keep calling me. No, 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 no. Hold on, you guys. I gotta, I gotta send a message really, really quick. Hold on, hold on. Listen to the book, the music. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that was my landlord. He was like, what is going on? So anyway. So, so sorry. Um, What was I talking about before we got rudely interrupted? Okay. What, what, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about she looked like she <laughs> her lip got a <laughs> herpes in it. All right. So... Let's move down. I'm going to move down into kind of her neck area. And it will just go back up, right? As we kind of move through this whole thing. Let me zoom you back out. There she blows. Ew. There she blows. Yeah, but Discord is basically... Oh, that's what I was talking about, Discord. Um, Discord is like a hot mess. I'm telling you that right now. Oh, man. What y'all talking about? I missed all of it. But I will be rug turfing. Tuffeting. Not herpes. Yes, that's what it looked like. That's what I was like this you got like herpes simplex one what's good but yeah um <laughs> let me put something at the bottom right here <laughs> See, this is why i don't never get that it done on stream because y'all be playing so much y'all bad influence man y'all got bad influence <laughs> bad, bad influence.
real bad influence. <laughs> I have to go now, but I will be back. Okay, hon. Thank you for coming through. Yeah, we'll be here for probably for another hour. So hopefully we will see you soon. Stop playing around here. Stop playing. Y'all y'all bad influence. Alright, so I'm gonna go for kind of doing something with her dress. Let's move her back up a little bit. And you know I already had blue on my thing right here. Oh god. Oh god. Put some blue out on my palette. On the palette. Okay. And I'm gonna mix a little white in it. I thought I had white. It is my white. Go in here and get some white. Here's my other gouache that I usually use too. My Himi gouache. I really love this a lot. I think I've even given this away to some of you guys, too. <laughs> oh, man. This thing looks a mess now, but... It's a mess! I'm gonna have to get some white out of here, though. Oh, man. Just, 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 just. I'm gonna put a little bit of white in there. Hot mess. A hot mess. I don't even think I have the full white that I need though. But it doesn't matter because I need like a light color. So that's fine. And her dress is blue. So we're going to just pile it on. Let's get it on there. Get it on there, darling. Huh? I think if you know what color you're going to be using, then that's fine to kind of pile it on and do whatever you need to do with it. Pile it on and do whatever you got to do, baby. Same thing over here. Get a little bit here. But make sure it's still kind of watered down. You don't want it to be... that going crafty leo what's popping hey i just found your channel and not so long time ago so glad i was able to catch you live hey let me get some hype for um crafty leo in the chat give us some heart show us some love you guys How are you? Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. We just in here politicking, enjoying a little birthday stream. Put that little brown right there. 
give her a little brown. Forgot that this was a thing. I forgot that that was a thing, honey. You see how light it is? I like to go light at first because I don't want to go insane. And then the whole thing ends up being a color that I don't want. Because that's the issue when you're dealing with watercolors and gouache. It's very hard to kind of lift that color up and get it out the way you don't want it. So you definitely want to start from like whatever. This is like my second favorite medium. And of course I'm getting stuff all over myself. Um, this is my second favorite medium. Besides uh, oil paint and acrylic. What is your top t top three favorite art supplies or paints or type of paints? I want to know what your top three is. If you've tried gouache and all the things, put it down below. Let me see it. I would love to see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bit of purple here, so I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. Magenta makes everything better, okay? Yeah. All right, so I have a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not. I put a little bit of blue, ultramarine blue and magenta, and that'll make me like a nice purple. I don't know why this thing keeps popping up like that. Thanks for coming, you guys. I love you so much. I'm glad you're here. Okay, we know. <laughs> we know. You, you're glad they're here. What in the hell? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, just trying to get the pop, the proper purple. But it's more like a pink anyway, so that's fine. Again, I'm still doing it very light. Drying off all that excess because I don't want it to be too much. All right, so we got a little bit of purple going. Da -da 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 -da. And I think it kind of like extends over to there too. And all the way over here to there. The good thing is, it's very easy to turn blue into purple. That's not very hard. You can easily get that, yeah? happy with that again this is always the blocking stage i tell you guys all the time oh i need to add some uh thing right here huh all right we're gonna add a little bit of yellow here this is all yellow in the front try this is why i separated the blue in in the yellow i kind of let the blue kind of like dry up before you add that yellow in it because it's going to turn green if you don't I'm adding a little bit of yellow to it. But again, it's still going to be super light. I just want to add like a coat of it right here. Try not to put it in that purple because it's going to turn brown. And you want your colors to stay fresh. 
Ooh. I actually put that too much of it right here. like a darker purple and some other things to the thing right here we're making progress honey okay That was easy to add these little ruffles. I love their clothes because it's like so freaking over the top. Real extra like me. <laughs> like me and you. <laughs> Real extra. Alright, let's add a little bit of color to her chest area right there. You can have at least two glasses or two, whatever, two different things of water. Let's see who can hit the high note. Oh, man. I cracked myself up. Oh God, I need a scissor. What the fuck? <laughs> what is going on, man? People are like, oh, she's live? Fuck that live. <laughs> it's time to ask for mad stuff. God. I swear to God. Somebody send me a bag of money so I can get away from these damn fam. <laughs> <laughs> it's gouache similar to watercolor. It is very similar to watercolor. It's like basically, it's basically if I really prefer gouache way over um watercolor. Basically, it's like if acrylic and watercolor had a baby, that's gouache because gouache is like opaque and it's creamy. It's all the things like right. Like, you see how opaque this is? You see that? Really, like, you, it looks like globs of paint, right? But you're not going to get that with watercolor. Watercolor is going to be really, really, like, watery, flowing all over the place. There's no control, at least for me, not with watercolor. So, I'm like this, okay? All right, I'm gonna put some color on her chest. Pretty much the same color I added before. It's gonna be super duper watered down. Oh yeah, that's watered down, Danielle. Now, I just have like pure water on my brush. It's not even a lot right there. You know what I mean? And the fun thing about watercolor, I mean gouache, is you can actually add like white gouache to it and lighten your colors, lighten and darken. Um, versus you cannot do that at all. With watercolor because 
Yeah. Alright, she is cray cray right now, but we're gonna get it together eventually, right? Mm. Alright, I don't know. And some I know a lot of people that use like colored pencil on top of it. So sometimes you can use like a colored pencil and all the things. So I'm, we need to let this dry really quickly. I actually need to get, um, I actually need a blow dryer. This is a good time to like, if you, if you're doing a project, whether it's this portrait or not, this is a good time. Once you kind of lay down the base of everything to, to dry everything, kind of get it together. I like to go in and do a little bit of colored pencil. Do that. Ooh. Kinda messy though. Kinda messy. These are like my favorite kind of go to pencils anyway. But this is mostly what I do my drawing in too. My Prismacolor ones. Alright, let's put her her face. Seems to be mostly dry. Uh, and things are gonna dry depending on your environment, right? So if you're in like a, a whatever, right? Um, if you're in like a really humid environment, like you live in Texas or something like that, um, then you're gonna have something that's gonna be like soup. It, everything's just gonna dry up like overnight. You know what I mean? Like in an instant, especially if you're dealing with acrylics. It's just gonna dry like crazy. That's what's gonna happen there. Okay. Very right, cool. All right, so I wanna add a little bit of something to her eyes, kind of like work on her face. And then we'll go in and kind of do some stuff with her hair. This is all about the details, especially when you're dealing with this sort of portrait. It's like really detailed. I actually follow her, this actress, on Instagram. So this is where I got the picture. <laughs> I was like stalking her Instagram and I was like, oh my God, I need that photo, Becky. <laughs> He's probably like, this bitch got me one. Oh man, I can't. All right, so I got a little bit of that dark mixture that I already had. I don't like to go really dark with the eyes right away either. Oh, because I want to. I want to have time. I don't want to be boxed in. You know what I mean? I don't want to be boxed in to a certain thing with a, with a gouache and like watercolor. You're boxed in to a certain type of thing. That's the problem with that. So I had to learn early on not to box myself in with certain things. All righty then. If she blows. Could <laughs> you imagine whining like that to your partner? Like, that'd be annoying. 
All right, I'm gonna. I'm soaking up some of this because I want to be able to put a highlight later. I'm soaking it up, baby. We soaking it up. Oh my god y'all i'm so pissed like i freaking broke well i didn't break it but it like i did i broke the cord on my sony camera i broke the 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 little swinging door that that comes out of my camera i am so pissed because it took me so long to even upgrade to a new camera and i broke that shit like so i don't even know what i'm gonna do like I'm not gonna buy a new camera. Funny enough about Sony cameras, I mean, them things could take a licking and keep on ticking, honey. Because them things, that thing is still running, as you can see. Hello. Uh, no, even though Betsy is damaged, um, and the cord is all jacked, <laughs> it's still running. Like, hey, girl, we still running. You better run. You better. Huh? So anyway, uh, I can't, huh? Still running, babe. Still running. Took a licking and kept on ticking. I was like, okay, sis, I see you. That's why somebody that I know that's really into like tech. They kept harassing me for like a whole year to buy a Sony camera. And I was like, bitch, I'm not trying to spend that amount of money. Like, are you serious? But now I know why. I'm putting this like brown color. And then I'm going to go back in. I'm gonna go back in later with the black. Like fade to black, okay? Cause I'm gonna have like that, I don't even know how to even any, even explain it, but like always like some sort of five o'clock shadow, brown shadow underneath your eyebrow. Uh, 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 uh. It's just the blocking and it already looks fab. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's getting there, right? That's why I told you guys, take your time. I know a lot of people get frustrated. This is like the ugly stage. Just when things look hideous, everything all ashy and weird. And you like, what the hell? That don't look like the photo. <laughs> that don't look like the photo. What is that? What is that? What's going on? Yeah, I know. It don't look like the photo. My my paper is really wet, so it's starting to warp. I need to go over this route. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this though. I like, I love my Posca pins. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Posca pins, but I doubt I'm gonna be able to go in and kind of do whatever I want to do with it. Ooh, that's too big. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to put my Patreon in the chiz at. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, especially if you want to support the channel or you want to give me a gift for my birthday. A good way to say that you love me long time. Support me over on Patreon. Um, I gotta actually put the, the link down now. So you guys can be able to join. Or it's in the, it's in the description. Alright, so I have to find some white... 
have no idea where the white went. Where are you? Here's another one that I usually buy, that I usually use too, my Arteza. I don't think I have a white one in here though. Oh, wait, there it is. Bingo, jackpot. Okay. Mm. All right, so there's two different whites. I think it's like an uh, a mixing white. It's mixing white and titanium white. So mixing white is gonna be a lot more transparent. All right, so let's get out. Put a little bit of that out. I don't really talk about Arteza's acrylic. I mean, um, this is not actually acrylic gouache. This is regular gouache. I don't really talk about it that much because it ain't that good. It's real cheap. But it's good if you want something cheap. Like, if you want to try it out, I think I have a link for it. I don't know. Damn. Can I get it open? Oh. Ugh. It's stuck, yeah. Like if you want to try out um gouache, a um Arteza is good for that. Ugh. All right, hold on, y'all. I gotta get somebody to open this. <laughs> y'all listen to the music. We're back and better than ever. Okay, cool. I got somebody to open it. All right, put a little bit of white out. Put some white. I haven't used these paints for a while, so it's like it's all dried up and crusted over. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of gray. I'm going to go into her eyes. And we're going to just kind of like work our way through, work on the eyes and do all the different things. Um, so, yeah. Have y'all been hearing the news? I posted a whole video on the whole smack that went down. The smackdown. Okay, at the Oscars. 
honey, honey, honey. It was like, <laughs> I can swear the people was gonna roast me at the Barbie. People was like, what? Oh my God. I'm like, sis, like, I mean, what do you guys think about it? Be respectful about it. We don't want nobody brawling in the comments. We don't need to repeat. <laughs> but I want to know what y'all opinions of it was. Do you, were. Were you for the slap or not? Okay. Were you for the slap or not? <laughs> That's what I want to know. You know, I got to be petty. Like, were you for the slap or not? Because I need to know. So I can put you on a list. Now <laughs> Were you for the slap or not? <laughs> Alright, so I got a little bit of gray on my thing. I'm gonna go into her eyes. It's very light. You're not gonna be able to tell right away. Again, you're just building stuff up. Alright, because remember, the whites of the eyes are not really white. Okay? They're not really white. Let's put that out there. Oh, and don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. If you hit the like button, it lets the algorithm know that sis is back and better than ever, right? And it lets people know that, yeah, I'm putting up videos again and life is wonderful. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting a little bit in the whites of her eyes. Alright, put a little bit in the white in the eyes. Cause the whites of the eyes are not white. Mm-hmm. You know that for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was like, it was mad controversy going on. I woke up one morning, my mom called me. She's like, do you see that he was over there slapping the taste out people's mouth with the damn Oscars? I was like, well, I was like, nah, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. This no way. Hey, this our like beautiful like boy next door was slapping the taste out of people's mouth so you know i had to look it was like five o'clock in the morning sis it was five o'clock in the morning no was it five no it was like eight o'clock nine o'clock in the morning she woke me up and told me that i was like yo i was like as soon as i got off the toilet <laughs> i was like i didn't even have time to jump in the shower i was like yo let me let me go and do the research. Let me look, because I don't believe... I never believe what people say. I got to actually see what's going on. Um, And... Basically... uh, When I seen the slap... First of all, I watched the whole video. I watched the raw video of him cursing and everything, right? Because the one in the United States, they didn't put that up. They didn't show that. So I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on, you know? Uh, and remember what I said, you guys, we were just having a nice little gossip sesh. We keep it nice, keep it sweet, keep it sassy. We not brawling, we all family here, and it's okay to have a difference of opinion, okay? Even if you pun the replay, I want you to put down your opinion, but we let's keep it cute, okay? Keep it cute. So anyway, um, I was like, what? what the hell? So then I had to watch it a few times. I was like, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I was like, not the boy next door. <laughs> not the boy next door. You know what I'm saying? I was like, it's no way the boy next door is doing that. It's no way. Um... And I'm like, damn, Zam, Zaddy, what the fuck? So then, um, of course, I posted the whole two-minute clip on my Facebook. 
It blew up. Everybody was in their feelings. Then they kind of came for me. Not didn't come for me, but they was kind of mad. Because I seen other people's opinion about it. They was like, oh, well, he should have went, you know, he should have slapped him around. At whatever. Okay, so here's two things, right? This is how I feel about it. I feel like, here's my two things about it, right? I'm in my 40s just like he's in his 40s, right? So by now, I have a lot more self-control, right? And people say weird, crazy shit to me all the time. Whether it's about my disability, whether it's about my mama, my sister, my brother, whatever, whatever. The only time you can get me out of my out of pocket, like in my feelings, is actually if you put hands, like if you lay hands, or you lay hands, or you threaten to harm my children, or you threaten to harm my mom or one of my family members, then creative girl of color doesn't exist. <laughs> then that's a whole, you know what I mean? Uh, that's a whole nother thing. All within itself, right? Um, hold up. I'm getting, I'm getting into it and I'm, I'm not concentrating. Hold on. Let me put this in. Just darkening up her um you never took the time to say the creases in her eyes didn't think you could explain darken it up like I don't care you can't and me it doesn't matter what color you use just use something to kind of darken up that crease the crease makes a big difference you know what I'm saying so yeah I was like, oh, nah, oh, nah. Um, so then when I seen it, when I would like analyze it word for word, inch for inch, scene by scene, I was just like, so anyway, back to what I was saying, you know, um, I just felt like it's just like we're too grown for that. Even at me and my level, like I'm not rich and famous and all of that shit. But if I go to like a work dinner, <laughs> that's like me going to the job, right? And you already know, it's always some bitch at the job trying to get out of pocket, trying to go wild, trying to do the most, thinking they a freaking comedian at the work party, right? Knowing they not about that life, okay? Uh, it's always somebody doing it, but... Um... Me as an adult, right? Me being in my 40s, knowing I got shit to lose. I got a car. I got this, that, and the third. I got kids. I ain't trying to get locked up because some stupid bitch at the job know what they was funny at the work party. Um, I'm not going to lay hands on said person at the work party. I mean, let me tell you. We all had a crazy person at the work party. I worked with a crazy bitch when I used to work at this place in New York. And hold on, y'all. I'm trying to concentrate. Trying to concentrate. So yeah, I had this this woman at the at that I used to work with. She was like an older Jamaican lady, and she used to do a lot of complaining. Oh lord, I can't take it no more. Oh lord, open the window. Oh lord, I'm so hot. Oh lord, what type of makeup you got on? Oh lord, I was like, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I used to hate this woman to the point I used to call her the wig because she always had on this ugly ass church wig. And I and like when I ref refer to her, I would call her the wig. Especially I'd be like, bitch, you always complaining. <laughs> But, however, and then she used to always try to be snitching. She used to always try to report me, do all sorts of stuff, try to get me whatever. Or, or you know, try to lie on me, try to lie on my name. 
all stuff like that. And, and mind you, that's grounds to get your ass beat because you're trying to mess with somebody's livelihood. However, I knew that God got me and, and they know my spirit, they know my heart, and I'm not going to be going out uh, getting locked up for said wig. <laughs> So anyway, that was the logic I kind of applied to the Will and Jada, I mean, whatever, Will and Chris situation. That was like the main thing that I applied to that because of the fact that I was like, holy crap, um, I would never do that. I just wouldn't. That wasn't the venue. Doesn't mean that he's not justified. It does not mean that he's not justified. I feel like he was justified in what he felt he had the right to feel some type of way about him making that insensitive joke. However, comedians been doing shit like that since the beginning of the time. Also, you got to think about that. Nobody's ever going to a comedy club and you like, okay, I don't need to be going. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, that's, I'm telling you, that's how she was, B. Yo, she, this chicken head, man, that shit used to piss me off. I swear to God, I used to have to like, I used to have to gather my thoughts. I used to have to gather my, I mean, she used to, she used to, I would be like raging after work. Like, I hate her so much, but I can't lose my job. I can't lose what I got for some bitch saying some shit out of her mouth that she ain't got no business saying, you know what I'm saying? So that was my kind of, again, um, and then, the whole thing with the comedy thing, like going back to Richard Pryor, a lot of these comedians used to say raunchy, thick ass shit, especially in the 80s. I think what it is, the, the, the era that we live in, everything is like, oh my God. Everybody, we live in a, in a world full of cancel culture. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The wig. I used to name her, she, she didn't even have no name. To this day, I don't even remember what sis name is. I used to name her the wig. Anyway, um, I used to come home. I'd be like, babe, the wig, <laughs> the wig tried it. The wig tried it. Oh my God. He used to be like, I do not care. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, see y'all got me doing too much. So anyway, um, yeah, it was like I, I just I don't know. I was like, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like, so then I was like, again, I feel like he was justified in how he felt. His feelings were validated, but again, we live in a in a culture where everything is like cancel culture. And people don't understand that that's what comedians do. They say stupid ass shit out their mouth. They ain't got no business saying. You go back and you watch old um, Eddie Murphy movies. Not movies. His his old stand-up. Where he had on that tight-ass leather. <laughs> where he had on that tight-ass red leather outfit. He was talking big shit. And he would, they would pull people out in the front and say all sorts of stuff and roast your ass. You can't go up with it and, oh, I'm going to punch you in the face because you hurt my feelings like we five years old. We ain't five years old, sis. We not in third grade. You can't put your hands on grown folks because you don't like what they said. So that was where it I differed in the situation. Not that he wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Not that he was not justified. He was justified. He was. And feeling how you felt. And the crazy thing is he brought more attention to the fact that she has like hair loss and hair problems and whatever, whatever. She brought more, he brought more attention to it than if he would have just let that shit rock. And then people would have canceled Chris for saying that shit. But because he got up there and laid hands like he was in the playground in Philly. Okay, that's what you get. You get you get the dust off. So then that's all I was trying to say. And the people in the family, they wasn't trying to hear. I think it was too early. It was too early. Okay, they wasn't ready. But I mean, you kind of get kind of get the gist of what I'm saying. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't no Yeah, but the wig tried it. 
All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of like a little bit of a uh, shadow right there. Little bit of shadow. So yeah, <clears throat> that's all I was saying, you know, and it wasn't for people to be like mad about it or whatever, but that's just how I felt. I felt like, yeah, you know, he's justified in what, in what he felt. He was justified in what he felt. All right, now we're gonna go a little op more opaque. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white, but not a lot. Mm. A little bit of white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add a little bit of white and a little bit of pink. A little bit of white and pink. That's what we did there. You see that? But I'm still keeping it kind of loose and good. I feel like I need to make her <clears throat> this side of her face is gonna be a little um less. I'm gonna have a little less pigment. But remember in white skin tone, not white. <laughs> and um in, in, in um, African-American skin tone, you're not going to have uh, that much white in it. And you remember, you should only go this opaque if you are pretty sure that you're happy with the color that you're putting down. That's the only time you should go this opaque. Right now, this is a lot of this is just water I'm adding. All it is, a little bit of water. A little bit of water, darling. This is. I'm not going to add that much here. <laughs> Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I feel so loved. So loved. Feel so
Yay, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Afka Pack, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming through and showing me some love. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but celebrating my birthday with you guys. Politicking, talking, painting, whole nine yards. The whole nine yards, honey. So you can see I kind of left the nose. I don't want to go too dark with the nose. There's certain parts of the nose that need to be lighter. That's kind of like the reasoning behind me leaving it like that. That's kind of the reason. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got it. I'm just adding in like areas of dark and light as I kind of see it. Blending out the rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that means three strings. It would be without you telling us all the stats, honey. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of just where I was with it. Um, that's how I was feeling about it. And then now, like, you see the consequences, like, and then I follow, like, a lot of, like, civil rights people and stuff on Instagram, and then some of them was just like, oh, no, 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 whatever. And now they're, like, trying to take all his stuff away. So it's, like, 25 years of work could possibly be ruined for one mistake, one thing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't had no business doing it, but... Now, 25 years of work could be possibly taken away. And the fact that they had some of the most influential black people in that room at the moment. And they had a black person that was actually um, directing it. Like the first black director that they allowed to actually be in there. And that whole moment was kind of like overshadowed. You know what I mean? It was overshadowed. So. Huh? So we're going to go a little bit darker because I want to get this dark piece underneath. Only that dark piece there because we want to signify that there's a, some sort of shadow underneath here. you go some sort of shatter underneath there and put the same kind of shadow underneath here looks like a hair or something yeah. I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think that he overshadowed and now, like, things are ruined? Or do you think he can even come back from it? Like, I don't know. I'm putting, like, a shadow underneath here. Right, because the boobs have to have some sort of shadow, okay? It just has to. And if you, um, this is a good time to change out your water. 
And you see how that shadow looks pretty good, especially on camera. It looks really, really good. It's very nice. Very nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it looks very nice. Believe it or not, I haven't painted in what is it like a while, probably a month, a couple of weeks. I have on my hat. You guys can't see, but you can see it now. I, this is the first part of my dress that was supposed to come for my birthday, but it never came. So you guys can kind of see it. Like, ew. <laughs> uh, all right, let's change it up. Change it up. Change up the music, musica. Uh, what am I listening to? Oh, okay. K K K K K K K. Yeah. Right. Change it up, baby. Hard working every day. I'm trying to figure out, okay, so I want to get like a darker kind of like rouge type of color. So I'm going to go with, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I got white on my thing. I'm going to get my magenta, my favorite. I'm gonna put a little bit of this dark color in it. She has really dark lipstick on. I think I might have to extend her lips over a little bit more too. Mm -hmm. You could actually do this with red. It'd probably be a whole lot easier too. Probably be a whole lot easier. Um, I polluted myself. Now she's gonna have purple lips. <laughs> You're gonna have purple lips, so. Um, let me see. Do I have a darker color? I don't have to mix. I would suggest you mix, though. Like, if you're not familiar with color. The fastest way to get familiar with color is to be able to mix your stuff. terrible condition y'all that's the only thing i don't like about these is they get like so old after a while you can kind of reconstitute them if you want to but it gets really really hard you're going like, really really hard like all crusted over i don't think i'm gonna be able to use it Okay. Let me go into my thing. Alright, so I'm gonna get two different reds out. This crap again. Ow. I'm the star in your dream making web dreams come true. She knows she buys better than bad. She a gunshot that blew my mind. Now this answer come by my 
Alright, that one don't want to open for me. Will this open? Yeah. Of course that will open. Because it ain't... Oh, that's not the color I want. Let's see. We can get a scarlet red. Scarlet red. With a scarlet letter. Okay, cool. This one will open. Because they need like a more of a red color. And in that instant, red is, I mean, magenta is just not going to cut it. Alright, so I'm going to mix a little bit of that. And... Mm. And that will give me kind of like the dark red that I want. The lips are kind of dark, so I'm going to do something like that. You know, it looks more redder than it is, but yeah. Thank you. Look at that, it's still dark though. And some pretty thin lips. Pretty thin lips, sis. Right, I'm gonna water down this dark red. May even add a little bit of white to it to kind of kill some of that. Mm. I'm just gonna blend this out and that's gonna kind of give me the illusion like she has like a lighter lip I don't even know how to explain it but like a lighter part of the lip so that's why I didn't add all the dark right there. I always put a little something underneath the nose. Always put a little something underneath. Because a nose is never, you know what I mean? Like a nose is never just like flat. It has like curves and grooves and all the different things. So I always put like something underneath there. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm putting like a dark like purple underneath in her nostrils I never go really black because the really the starkness of the black will like flatten everything out and it will make your paintings look flat Mm. And I gotta fix that. We gotta fix that. Fix it. Fix it. This might be right. Either you feel it or you don't. My kids really try. Say, fix it. Baby, you're everything I want. Let's give it some time. Yeah. Somebody told me I should hit and run. Put a, that same dark color in her eyelash heel. I don't want to. I mean, I have a Posca pen that's like black, so I could kind of do it that way if I wanted to. But yeah. <laughs> and it's looking good so far. We getting there. Probably the second layer. Mm. I'm gonna go back into that blue. I'm gonna put some right about here. And I'm just picking out these shadows that I see in like her um her coat. In her dress, I mean. You see that? Adding my little shadows there as I see fit. Oh, wait, I forgot to put a little thing right there. So, yeah. Let's go in. I'm gonna darken up her. Sorry right, if I hit the camera. I'm gonna darken up her. In from back here. Seems a little pink, but it's okay. right there and like right about here I'm 
just to... give her nose more definition. But still kind of like, you know. Thank you for the timestamps, babe. I appreciate that. Make my life a whole lot easier when I go back in. I think I can edit this video down too. So just in case y'all can't hang with me the whole time. I can always go back and look at it later. It'll be on the channel. It's looking good. Looking real good. Um, I'm just looking at her photo to see what I didn't miss nothing. Making sure I'm not missing nothing. I'm continuously dipping my brush in between colors, in between layers, and doing all of these things to kind of blend this stuff out. Because if you don't, it'll be a hot mess. Okay. And I need to make that shadow underneath her. Ooh, that's too dark. Ugh. All right, I'm dipping all sorts of nonsense in here now. Don't be afraid to go dark. A lot of people are always afraid to go like too dark with stuff and then you're like, oh my god. It's gonna look a hot mess. Nothing is set in stone forever, honey. This isn't. I don't like how red that is though. To change it.
If we don't finish this um during tonight's stream, I think it's a little too pink. But I'm gonna let it dry and do whatever it does. And uh we'll go back in. If we don't finish during tonight's stream, I will definitely finish it off stream and post a part two to the channel so you can see that. And then we have more tutorials, you guys, coming soon. Again, if you want to see all the stuff that I'm doing behind the scenes, all the activities I have going on throughout the month, throughout the year, even when I'm not posting on social media, the best place to catch me is um, on Patreon. Patreon.com slash creative girl of color. I'm going to post that up or well, you'll see it in the description box. But yeah, that's the best place to catch me, honey. But even when I don't post on here, I post on there. I'm just going in, adding some dark to her eyes. I'm getting out my detail brush because I need to go like really small. Mm -hmm. yeah. And getting into those little details really makes a difference for real. For real. coming together see us yes. I got a really small brush you can see it see that really really tiny kind of get into here and do all the things I'm starting to put a little details in even though I'm not done with her face but I'm still putting in little details 
because I like to cheat. That's my little way of like cheating things to see like, you know what I mean? Um, to get a little inkling of satisfaction. <laughs> and I put like little details here and there when I can, when I feel like I'm almost halfway done with the eye or halfway done with something. I'll put in that extra little bit of detail, whatever. Mm -hmm, so I'm going to do that same color. Like dark brown. And I get in there and do that to her. Her eyelash. I mean, um, her eyelash. What do you think, cool? Eyebrow. I'm gonna go in and get that. Get them eyebrows. And she's still a little bit too light. So we're gonna have to end up going back in with another uh whatever. Alright, so we're gonna leave her face for a minute. And let me zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what what's happening with it. You see that? So, yeah, it's looking good. You see, I started to add the little details and yada yada yada. But again, if you're dealing with watercolor or gouache, you want to take your time. And make sure that you choose your colors wisely. Um, mix your colors ahead of time. And this goes with anything that you're doing, whether you're doing acrylic or whatever you're doing. Um, mix your colors ahead of time, okay? It will save your life. Okay. It definitely will. All right, I'm going in with more blue. And this is going to be like a deeper blue. Um, let me see. It's going to be like a deeper blue. Very deep, huh? I think I can find, I don't think I have a, even if you have like a, I would advise to even go, what the hell? Again, don't forget to change out your water. My water's getting muddy right now. If I'm being really lazy and I don't feel like doing it. I, I don't feel like it. Huh? Oh, man. So I love this character she plays. I love it. I love it. And if you really look into her story, like the backstory of this actress, she's been acting in the business for 20 years. And it took them quite some time to kind of even recognize her as an artist, as a at, recognize her craft, as a mixed woman, as a you know woman of color in the industry, and she tells her story so beautifully. I was actually looking into it the other day, and you know she talks about how people used to say how she she looks too too urban, too urban. Okay, you see you see the quotation box. She looks too urban. She too black. She too yada yada yada. When she used to go to like auditions, so she was like stuck doing certain things. And I actually started following her before she even had all those followers. Um, before she had all those followers, I started following her. She had like 6,000 followers when I started following her. And now she has over 100,000 followers, which is insane. Like she blew up overnight. So this is just a good story to tell you that you should never give up what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, thank you so much. That five five, that five five media. <laughs> I appreciate you, honey. Uh, you should never give up how you feel about your art, about your crap. Even if you feel like shit is just not working for you, it's days I want to give up too, honey. It's days I'm like, I don't got no money. You know, my art didn't sell this month. Kids getting on my nerves. You know, Bay needs to be slapped around a couple of times. All sorts of shit is going on, right? And I feel like I just don't want to be bothered. But that gives you hope that 
I mean, she was in the industry 20 years, honey. A lot of people would have gave up. They would have gave up after that amount of time. Hold on, y'all. Let me turn this light on. A lot of people... would have gave up after that amount of time and been like nah we good you know uh obviously it's not meant to be how many times have we said that how many times have we said that you know i know i've said it plenty of times i've said to myself damn this is not meant to be i i am i meant to be an artist am i really impacting people am i helping people am i doing the right thing da da da, da. like you go to like those existential crises the same thing happened to that actor that was on um, the show Pose. He said for the first... He been in the industry a long ass time too. He said he was in the industry. This is not even the right blue that I need, but... I don't have Phalo Blue. If you have Phalo Blue... I would suggest... Oh, if you have failable, I would suggest that you get it. I'm just putting in the shadows right there. Kind of softening things out. If you have failable, I would suggest that you use that. But this is fine. You could always do like a darker blue on top. And then you should be good to go. Um, yeah, I just found it like super duper interesting and super duper inspirational that she kept going. She kept pushing. That's how much she believed in her process. She believed in her story. She believed in where she was going as an artist and what she was trying to do. And I'm sure she had many nights where... People was like, I mean, because even family members, especially when you're trying to be an artist, they always like, mm. especially black houses, black family members, they like, uh, you trying to do that art? What's up with your little art business? Oh, you still putting them portraits out? <laughs> they like, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Your husband's still ugly? What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. <laughs> Your husband's still ugly? The fuck? Yeah, I'm still doing my art business. What's wrong with you? I hate when people ask me stuff like that. Especially when they know I take a break or something. Like, I'm not doing stuff or whatever. They be like, oh, you still doing your little art business? Oh. Uh, you know, you still doing your little portraits? Oh my God, don't even get me started when clients ask you for like work and they want to know. They were like, how much is, how much is whatever you're doing? When I, and prices went up, went up, you know what I'm saying? Like, we all know that meme. I hate to say it. When I come out with this next collection, collection, prices went up. Know your worth, you guys, know your worth. So anyway, and it took me so long to find out my worth. I'm sorry, I went on like a rant just a minute ago. But yeah. That's my ADHD. <laughs> I start going, oh, squirrel, squirrel. What? Squirrel. <laughs> I was like busy saying something, but then I'm like, squirrel, squirrel. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> oh lord, lord, lord. Lot of mercy. Lot of mercy. Oh lord, girl. My back. Okay. Uh, anyway, back to what I was saying. I went on a rant for a minute. Uh, Yeah, so that just leads me back to what I was saying, you know. It's so inspirational to have somebody uh, just per persevere the pure motivation and determination 
It just gives you something. And now she's in her 50s with the on the hottest show on the motherfucking planet. Okay? I think Bridgerton is like number one. They won like an Emmy or some crazy stuff or whatever. And um, it's just insanity. You know, you got to really big her up for that. You're like, holy crap. Like, I can't even believe it. Soft. Soft. All right, let's stop playing around. Let's, I'm gonna go in. Here's my palette. And I already, so remember we already mixed up like a dark color, burnt sienna and a little bit of blue. So I'm gonna get more blue. And we're still gonna have that like that black color, but it's not really black. It's like really a, a dark, dark, dark blue. And I have paint all over me. Thank God I have this apron on. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, cool. All right. So right here is really, really dark. You can't really see a lot. Even on the picture, you can't see a lot. I'm going to go in right here. Again, even though she had on like this historical kind of like powder wig that they would wear back in the day, the powder wig. And for those of you on my Twitch channel, you know I'm obsessed with making my Sims into royalty. <laughs> oh man! So look out for that. So y'all know I'll be putting my Sims in these powdered wigs, honey. Put my Sims in these powdered wigs, honey. Thank you so much. Happy birthday! Sending you good vibes today. And all year round. Woo woo. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for coming through and spreading love. I love it. Let me get some hype in the chat for Leo Lady. What's popping? I see you in the comments all the time. I need to start shouting people out because I've been seeing a lot of y'all in my comments and leaving wonderful, beautiful comments. And don't forget to hit that like button, y'all, because it let people know that y'all enjoying the video. Um, what's I saying? So I'm putting like this dark color right up on, on, in the roots here. Mm -hmm. That's too much. I put too much right there. Oh my god, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Every time I go live, my nose be running. Don't know why. I don't know. We never know why. Why? I used to take care of a client. I my, my, in my former life, I took care of people with disabilities and Down syndrome and stuff like that. I used to I used to have this client. Her name was was P. I'm gonna call let's call her P. And um, I loved her so much. She liked to shop, so we would like go for shopping. She would get her pocketbooks and all this stuff. People don't realize people with disabilities are just like me and you. They like all the nice stuff, all the things, and yada yada yada, right? Thank you. Loving your work. Now let me go and attend um, to my like. Yes, thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank you for liking the video, you guys. Um, So yeah, people don't realize that these people are just like you and me, right? You see people, I hate when I used to take my kid, my my people to the mall and then we have all these dumbass people looking at you in the mall and and gawking at the people like they like they stuck on stupid. That's so rude, you guys. I I wish people would not do that. These people enjoy it, trying to enjoy life just like y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm just going in with the shadows and stuff like that where I see fit. Do, 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 do. And you know my brain is like squirrel so if i get off track um somebody say squirrel in the chat <laughs> if i get off track 
somebody say squirrel and then I know I need to go back to the subject I was just on. Like squirrel says squirrel. Get your life together. Okay. <laughs> Alright, all of this right here is really dark. It's dark, honey. It's dark. Anyway, so why was I telling that story? Oh, I was telling that story about my client because when we used to go out and stuff and I'd be like, you know, P, you can't have that. You can't buy that. You ain't got enough money for that. And she'd be like, why? 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 <laughs> she was like, why can I have it? I be like, yeah, you can't. You just can't. She was like, why? Why? And I, that just made me remember that. I miss my clients. That's the only part of like, Trying to be like, trying to be self-employed, trying to do your own thing out here in the entrepreneurial life. Um, you know, you don't get to always experiences. You don't get those experiences anymore. You know what I mean? I'm going back in with this. Going back in with the darkness. Yeah, yeah. Now, the base of the hair is always going to be a lot darker than anything else. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 uh. And you can see, now, now you know why I said don't go crazy with the darkness at first because you want to still have some of those light pieces at the top um that's kind of why i didn't do all like dark colors at the beginning right right i'm gonna add some of this Let's pull this down so you guys can kind of see what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, it was like... I was telling y'all that story for <laughs> Why was I telling you that story? No reason, just to give you some insight into who I am and the life I led prior to you guys. All right, so you can see I'm just doing little swirls at the top of the head. Sorry. We just doing little swirls. We're getting our life together. We're doing a swirl. But still going into like that dark bit. Um, so like right here, it's going to be really dark. That's the only drawback with gouache is you have to be deliberate. You have to be deliberate in where you're going with this. If not, um, it's hard to kind of backtrack. Or at the backtrack, honey. So anyway, um, <clears throat> back to the show. You know, so this is why, kind of why I wanted to start off. You know, I, I kind of wanted to do a bunch of these on the channel. But the problem is I didn't know whether they was going to come out with another season. So I didn't want to kind of do it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but... I didn't know what they was going to be doing. You know what I mean? That's why I was like, nah. Let me go ahead and wait. I had no ideas. What they was going to be doing, honey. 
All right, I need an actual, I need some more blue. So I'm putting more blue out. Again, it's a good time to change out your water. Man, I'm getting the wrong color out. So you know I'm gonna post I'm gonna post the finished piece and all of that stuff of course in the group in the discord and on my personal Instagram and, and of course you're gonna see all the behind the scenes stuff like I saved the behind the scenes stuff for patreon like my palette and like little snippets of whatever all right I'm going back in with that same dark tone it's too dark honey it's too dark I was actually tempted to get to get one of these dresses from Amazon for my birthday because I love I love like period stuff. But I didn't do it. My spirit looked like don't do it. Don't do it. Alright, it's super dark, super dark. How long have you been an artist? You are very confident with your brush strokes. I'm striving to get there. Yes, honey. It takes a while. It does take a while. Um, it's going on officially four years. I've been an artist, like full, like the full blown leap into it. Of course, I've always been creative for a very long time. I started out doing why I got into art was because I, um, because I started a business with my mom for SD Bijou jewelry and it still it still exists. It's just that I don't really have as much time anymore for it, you know? I don't really have as much time for it anymore. So I started the business out. We started the business when I was about 27. And she looks gorgeous, bitch. She looks gorgeous. Uh, looks like have you been doing art for 400 years? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, period dresses. That's what I'm saying. I was like afraid, I was like, I'm gonna be shamed. People gonna be on Instagram like shame, shame, and that's probably all in my mind though. That's probably all in my mind. <laughs> like it's all in your mind, sis. Nobody thinking about you. Whatever. I'm paranoid. I'm like they're gonna talk about me. They're like, oh snap, she done, she done cracked up now. She done snap now. So yeah, to answer your question, um, ow, he hurt y'all. I'm end up having to go to the dentist. Don't even get me started. That's the worst time. This is the worst time during a plague. You got to go to the dentist. Yeah. Anyway, so I started doing art. Right, you know, y'all need to put put down in the chat. When I lose my train of thought, squirrel. <laughs> so get me back on track. Okay, so. Ow. Um, like I said, I started it when I was 27. We started doing like, but we, we was doing jewelry then. So we was doing like beaded stuff. You know, like the beaded bracelets you see in the store. Like it's real popular now. But then 
it was just starting to come out and like gain traction or whatever. So, um, I got to put another layer on her face. Yeah. Squirrel. Somebody say squirrel. I can't. Uh, so yeah, then, cause I was just like, Ooh, squirrel shiny. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> like squirrel. Um to listen to somebody's conversation. Never mind. Let me close my, my studio. Y'all know y'all be doing that painting and somebody start talking in the house, you be like Squirrel, I need to get my ear out and see what y'all talking about. <laughs> Make sure you're not talking about me. Uh, so anyway, um, so yeah, at that time I was working for the government. I won't tell y'all what agency, but I was working for the government. It was not fun. And, um, then my mom introduced me into doing that stuff. And then she said, as we was doing that, somehow I met somebody at like a fair or some sort of craft fair or whatever. And I'm telling you like my whole life story here. And then the person was talking about they do metal smithing, which is more like handmade jewelry. Like what you see I have on my hands now, I made these, right? This is what I made. And these are a couple of years old, but they're all made of sterling silver. So they don't fade, right? I can, I can keep these forever and they will always be this, right? So they was telling me like, oh... You know, yada, yada, yada. They make jewelry, da, 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 da. And I met this cool lady at the craft here. And I was like, holy cannoli. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> I make it. I want to make jewelry. I want to do that. Like, oh, my God. And then at that time, you know, um, it was mostly only white people that did it. You know, and then when you when they see my black ass show up at the craft here with the handmade jewelry, they was like, um... So I would get like all these weird, that's, that wasn't even your question, but we're going on a rant, squirrel, okay? <laughs> Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa put fucking squirrel in me. <laughs> Vanessa, uh, <laughs> Vanessa put a squirrel in the chat, what the fuck? <laughs> That is funny. I cannot. I cannot. That made that made my day. <laughs> oh my god. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. I can't. Anyway, so when I show up at the craft fair with the handmade jewelry. It was like, oh, only, you know what I mean? They didn't say it to my face, but you could see their face. Like the white people, they were like, oh my God, girl, blah, blah, blah. you know, they would give me just the, just the dumb face. Like, and then I would get the question, did you really make that? Did you really do that? What did you, did you really, or did you like buy them pre-made and then throw in the stone? What sus? Black people make shit too. We've been making stuff since uh, Uganda, since uh, Sudan time, since the 15th century. What you talking about? Just cause we don't do much anymore like that don't mean we don't do it. We don't know how to do it. Anyway, I digress. Squirrel. Um. Uh. So yeah, it was like. So then, as I got to um. Vanessa, I cannot. That shit was so funny. That made my day. So as um things started to like progress for me in my jewelry, I realized I couldn't progress any further. Squirrel in the damn chat. I can't. Says Tutin comment. That's what I'm talking about. S that's, they don't realize black black people have been pharaohs and kings since way way back. We know how to do shit. What you talking about? 
you know, y'all know I did a whole painting about uh, Queen Nzinga. Oh man. So anyway, um, look, I'm about to say squirrel. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, uh, uh, uh. Um, so then that used to piss me off a lot, but then I got more and more into the jewelry and I realized, make a long story short, I realized I had to start drawing. So out of necessity, I started drawing in order to show people like, yo, I know how to do this shit. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? What do you mean, Becky? Okay. Karen, I know how to make jewelry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Karen. Okay. No shade to all my white peeps that, that follow me over here on the channel. Yeah, y'all know. You know whether you are Karen or not. Okay. Let's not, let's keep it a buck. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, you know, um, Becky's and, and Karen's was at my booth trying to play me and shit. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start drawing and I'm gonna start putting it on Instagram and show y'all motherfuckers that I know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, so yeah, that, that long story short, squirrel. <laughs> That's kind of why, that's kind of how I got started with the whole situation. All right, let's put another layer on her face and then we're going to go in and we're going to like put another layer on her, on her eyes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so that, that's the story. That's my origin story, darling. Okay. I'm glad you let, you asked me. Thank you for, for inquiring. A lot of people don't be wanting to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't be caring. Queen of Zinga was so painted, too. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I always want that to show that representation, especially in my house. I have, I'm raising a black son. I have, my daughter is a community activist. Like, you know, I need to have those representations in my house. So, anyway, that's why I did Queen of Zinga. And so many people don't even know about Queen of Zinga. People are so used to like the instant society that we live in where everybody's like fucking twerking and TikToking and humping and whatever. <laughs> I sound like I'm 85. <laughs> I'm turning into my mother. Uh every yo, y'all out here twerking. Can't get your life together. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm going in with another coat. And we're going to wrap it up, sis. We're going to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Ooh, I got too much white. Because I'm losing daylight anyway, because I'm over here yapping, talking about squirrels. <laughs> squirrels. And I need to buy a new cord for my camera, so pray for me, y'all. Matter of fact, join my Patreon so I can pay for a new cord for my camera. Because <laughs> uh, I'm poor. I'm so poor. I'm like, I need to spend more money. Why? I need a sugar daddy. That's what I need. A sugar daddy will help assist out. Let me stop. <laughs> All right. So we're just going in, we're adding a little more here once again. I just want to make her a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. 
Remember what I tell y'all, the more layers you add, the more layers you add, honey. <clears throat> the better off you'll be. Yes, Queen of Zinga, look it up. It was a real queen from the 15th century, right around when Henry the Eighth. No, maybe not Henry the Eighth. <laughs> I know, squirrel. layering until you start to get like more depth more depth right i know no sugar daddies <laughs> no sugar daddy for you sis lighter and add um a little bit of a lighter thing about right here Yeah, um, you get into those history channels. I watch a lot of, um, you guys know I watch a lot of, uh, Timeline, I think it's called. I watch a lot of that. I like history anyway. That's probably why I like this show. I like a lot of, I watch a lot of history. Got to put the shadows in. Shadows.
People calling me, they calling me. <clears throat> People never remember that I go live. You live, baby. 602, thank you so much, facial blending. Thank you for those um, timestamps. Thank you so much, sis. And this is like at an angle, so you guys are not gonna be able to see. It looks warped on camera because it's at an angle. You see that? I lift it up and it's looking good, okay? Real good. Make her eyes a lot darker, but again, take your time. We are not gonna be able to finish this on, um, on today's stream. Cause I wanted to have a beautiful session with you guys and chat and all of that stuff and really enjoy my birthday. And you know, I wouldn't, I would rather be anywhere with you guys than anywhere else. Right. Y'all, y'all like my family away from family for real. Mm, I'm going to put a little bit of a, like a. little bit of a um, shadow up there. Little bit of a shadow, honey. This is why I say you should, um, you should lay your light colors down first. That way you can go in with the dark, dark, darks and really go in and do all the things, you know, definitely. I'm going to put a little bit of a. Na 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 na, you better. A little bit of a thing, squirrel. <laughs> oh man. So square. You're gonna do a lot of like layering, especially when it comes to like wash. You're gonna do a lot of layering, so just get ready for that. Lots and lots of layering, honey. There it is. Do to layering. Now I want to put out, I'm going to put out like a little ebook and I want to know what do you guys want to know about? Like a lot of people are talking about portraits, but what do you need to know specifically? So if you want to like have input, put down what you want to know specifically. I want to talk about, I'm going to do a whole thing on like skin tones because it's kind of hard. I'm not even going to lie. Like it is hard. You're gonna have to reinforce all of those shadows in the eyes, all these different things. So yeah, definitely put it down in the comments or if you happen to watch this after this is over, put it down and yeah. 
and let me know exactly what you want me to put in this ebook you know because it's basically all about you guys i get a lot of these questions a lot and to, to kind of add on to what you was talking about um lady leo leo lady um knowing your brush strokes and stuff like that that's kind of a, like a lot of it has to do with practice i spent the first three years of well not first three but the first two years of me trying to become an artist i spent that whole two years painting my ass off i would paint like probably two paintings a day for every day for almost two years i was painting non-stop learning watching videos going to the library looking up books do and no no amount of like watching or like no amount of tutorial will will help you you know what i mean like you have to actually get down there and do constant whatever whatever so now my brush strokes are so automatic i don't even have to think about it I can actually, that's why I can talk to you and I can actually dip my brush and dip and just look down quickly, dip into the color I want, mix the color exactly what I want and boom, 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 go in. I know how to do them brush up because I killed myself for two years and I do not recommend that. <laughs> I learned a lot and I, I was able to get to the point where like I'm really proficient with it, especially with color theory because of it. But it took a toll on my body and I really, it, it, you know what I mean? It was insanity for me to work that amount of time. And then I started doing a lot of um, commissions in the beginning of doing my work. And the commissions, that really took me out. It, that did a lot, you know what I mean? Um. It was a lot. It was a lot. Again, remember, if you're painting this portrait, let it dry in between layers and continue to layer, 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 layer until you get the opaqueness and the realism that you want. It's already starting to look really, really realistic. Like you can see it right there, right? There she is in all her glory. It's already starting to look super duper realistic, right? Um, but I'm going to keep layering, 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 but I'm going to let it dry and do whatever it's doing. And we've been live for like two or three hours. Sus. We've been live for two or three hours. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them down below. Your color wheel tutorials have helped me loads. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. It makes me very, very happy. And I appreciate when you guys comment. And when you come and tell me that I've helped you, because God knows when I first began doing art, I looked all over for help. I couldn't find anybody to help me. And this is why I started the channel for people like you, Leo lady. Thank you so much. I'm glad it's helping. I would recommend that you continue, continue, continue to, to you know, do your thing. You can even join the Patreon if you want me to help you with one-on-one -on -one coaching. Or I'm going to start doing paint overs where I pay Oh, that's another thing. Okay. So I'm going to pick like three people, you guys, uh, that really want to participate. Because I'm going to do a video where I show you exactly how to take your portrait from, you know, maybe a little like unfinished or cartoonish because i know a lot of people complain about their stuff being ashy or cartoonish or whatever so i'm gonna show in that video how to take your painting from that to realism and i'm gonna actually be doing some paint overs on people's art so so patrons will be the first pick of course if you're a patron so join me on patreon but if you're in a group on Facebook or you're in a Discord and you want to submit your painting, right, to me, then you can send it either to my mod, Vanessa, or, 
and she'll put her info where you can find her. Just put just put the link in the group um in the Discord again for us V. So people can find us and submit your paintings and I will paint over your paintings live. I will feature you on a video, paint your art, paint over in your art, your um and all the things. Do, 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 do. So I think that's an exciting thing. Tell me if you guys are interested in something like that. For real. For real. Drazzy and dreamy. No, no, no. Um. Yeah. So that's something that I'm going to do. I'm planning that as a, as a future video, probably for May. I'm going to do that video where I'm painting over my followers painting showing how to go from like you know the beginning stages of a painting and then i'm gonna take it all the way to the end i'm giving gonna put my critiques on it and do all of the stuff right so submit your paintings you guys um if you want to be a part of that video and she's looking ashy but i need to let her dry so we're gonna let her dry we're gonna do all the things Let me do one last little coat. Already in the end. Um, I definitely got a painting for you to paint over. I like it, but I know with your touches. Yes, definitely submit it to the my mod. Or again, you can um you can head over to the group and you can get in contact with us like that too, or on Discord, and I will definitely check it out. And I will pick three people. And I will paint over it and I will feature you on the video where I talk about how to take it from X, Y, and Z. I really think that that would be a good video to kind of do here on the channel. Because I know a lot of people are always asking. But unless you actually see with your own eyes on how to improve things, you really won't know. You know what I mean? So I think paint overs are beneficial. Okay? Yes, indeed. And that's it, you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Um, if you again, if you had, thank you so much for celebrating my birthday with me and being with me and supporting me over the years. And oh, shout out to the new subscribers. I I haven't been uploading as much as I should have, and I'm so sorry for that. But you guys have been showing up and showing out. The the channel is still continuing to grow on a regular basis. Even though I have not been uploading as much as I should. But hopefully in the future coming weeks, I will be uploading a lot more consistency. Um, I actually put my schedule over on the Discord and in the group on Facebook. So I will be a lot more consistent. And I look forward um, to seeing your, your, your paintings and all the things that you have to show me. So we can get things going for these paint overs. I'm excited about it. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, Y'all rock. Give yourself a round of applause. And I want to see what you guys have been painting along with me over the last two hours. Post, post, post. I would really love to see it. And remember, every Sunday we're going to be doing these live streams. So every Sunday we're going to be back with another Sketchbook Sundays. And it will be something different every week. And I will post the part two to this particular painting. I love you guys so, so much. Shout out to V, my mod squad for hanging in there. 
for the last hours or whatever. Yeah, look, I got paint all over me. Yeah. Yeah, you rock. You rock. You rock. Everybody, you rock. Thank you, 755 Media, for showing up and showing out like you always been doing since the very beginning. You've been day one crew. Hashtag day one crew. Yeah. <laughs> yes, post them on Facebook. Post them on Facebook. And definitely put your, your submit your, your paint over if you want me to paint something over. Because I'm going to be starting with recording that video in another week or so. And that's it. Put your codes, your questions below. And don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.